we are going to install a door on our furniture using some cup hinges. We are going to assemble them on this side. There are a lot of hinges of this kind and today we will choose this. We are going to assemble these. We will have to drill to place the hinge and then we're going to screw it. If you want another model you have this one. We would also make a 1 2 fifths inches 35 millimeters drill and then 2 5 16 inches 8 millimeters drill for the blocks. This hinge gives a lot of resistance to the opening of the door. The two dowels are introduced with the help of a mallet so that they fit well. Then, when you turn these screws, the block will expand and it will be perfectly fastened within the wood. If you don't like to see so many hardware on your hinges, you also have this other type. Remove this lid. Drill the same holes as before and screw it. Once all the work is done, you can place this trim in the back. All the regulation mechanisms are covered by this piece. This way there will be no screw in sight. We are going to focus on these two. In this type of hinges comes a template to make your work easier. The only thing we are going to decide is the height we will choose to put them. We are going to put it at 4 inches, 10 centimeters, away from the edges. Let's mark it. Here. And here. So that the stroke is seen with ease. What we always do is mark its full length. With the help of the tri-square. There is one. Here is the other. The template indicates the area where the hinge will be placed and the part that will be fixed to the furniture. We take this dotted line, bend it and use this template. We place it on the edge of the door. With this line aligned to the one we have drawn with a square. And with a center punch we mark the center. We hit it softly. You don't need to make a very thick mark. Let's go to the area below and repeat the operation. We mark there. Now we know where we need to place the Forstner bit for the drill and make that hole. Now let's mark on the inside of the furniture. Let's line up the door over here. And we pass the line we did with a tri-square here. At this point. Up and down. Now we finish tracing it. What are we going to drill with? With this tool. It is a drill guide support. We also need a Forstner bit for drill like this, of 1 2 fifths inches, 35 millimeters. These are the Forstner drill bit. We are always going to keep them well protected. Its configuration allows you to perform very well all the hollowing out of the wood. The important thing is that you adjust the bracket well. For example by using a piece of board, or by measuring carefully. That's how it will a good depth cap, and you will not go through to the other side. Here I have marked 11 millimeters deep. I've put a strip of the same thickness as the door, with the 11 millimeters marked by this line. If I lower the drill, I can see that there I'm going to go through the other side, and I'm giving the right depth. Let's fasten the door. We look for the mark we made. And once we have it, we fix the door with a clamp. This way we make sure that the material does not move. 
we raise it and turn on the machine. I advise you to wear safety goggles. Now we repeat the work on the other side. If we vacuum, we will always keep the work we are doing clean. Let's place the hinge now. We put it in its position. One. And another. Check with the tri-square if they are perfectly perpendicular. Now, with the punch, we mark the central point of the screws. There is one. And there's another one. We repeat the operation on the other side. We hold it and mark it. We can place them now. Let's get the bag of screws that is included in the hinges kit. With the help of the screwdriver we place them. Let's loosen it a little bit to position the next screw properly. The first part of the piece is already assembled. These hinges are called piston soft close. If we press this button, the piece that is fixed to the piece of furniture comes out. Let's work inside the cabinet. We move the door away. And we place the piece of furniture in a horizontal position so that you can see it more clearly. We now put the template on the other side. The dotted line is going to stay there. The first thing we are going to do, is to draw with the square its position. To see it more clearly, we fold the back of the template. We mark with the punch. We hold it. And we go to the next one. Let's go to the bottom and we repeat the same operation. One. And another one. Now we fix the body. There is one. And here's the other one and we screw them. We put one screw 
and then the next one. Let's get the other one. Whenever we make a mark, the screw hooks much better from the first moment. Once assembled we will place it in its position. We move all this stuff away a little bit. And let's see how the door turns out to be. We put the upper hinge first. In that place. Did you hear that click? It is a signal that the door is properly placed. The door is rubbing with the workbench. It is very misaligned with the top. Let's move it up a little bit, loosening the screws that hold the hinge in the inside of the cabinet. Take a handle screwdriver to regulate the hinge. We loosen these two and the ones below. Now as they are cup hinges, we raise the whole door until the top is lined up. This step is ready. Now what we have to do is to level it. You have already watched me aligning doors like this, with these two screws right here. Moving the door closer to fit a little more on the furniture. There it has been adjusted. We put it in and that's it. One more project finished. Now, you know how to put a cup hinge on your furniture.